Hello, my name is Seppi and welcome to Hacknet. I played this game some time ago, I guess it's almost a year ago or even longer than a year ago and I really enjoyed it and uh, yeah, since a new patch got released for the universe, I decided, hey, let's play Hacknet as a YouTube series. I'm super excited about this. I really enjoy this game and as you can see here I already recorded a session of Hacknet but it turned out that the super awesome soundtrack of the game is um, causing some uh, copyright issues so I had to delete the video and I have to record the first episode again so that's bad that, that's really bad but oh well we now can enjoy the great music of Kevin McLeod because I will use his music as a background music for this uh, Let's Play series. And um, yeah, I really hope that the game will translate well to YouTube because I'm not quite sure it's uh, as the name suggests about hacking computers and this of course takes place on a terminal so I'm not quite sure if you will enjoy it or if it's bad or nice interesting we will see we will see I'm I'm looking forward to hear from you how you enjoy this series and yeah without any further ado let's let's start a new session so a new hacknet user registration let's you no no let's call it uh, Zebby learning uh, by Gaming, yeah, that's that's good. All right, there we learning by gaming. That's that's awesome. That's me. Let's do this. Oh, we need a password. So let's let's add a password to it and confirm this password. All right. Once created, a session's language cannot be changed. That's good. Press enter to confirm. All right. Let's do this. Okay. Hacknet kernel version 1.0.0. Tuesday, October 11th, 2011, so it's it's a little bit old, the, the kernel we are using apparently. Boot complete. Alright. 14 day timer expired. Initializing failsafe. Hi. This is strange. Stranger than I expected. I guess I'm supposed to write this in past tense, though I hardly feel like admitting it's over. My name is Bit, and if you're reading this, I'm already dead. Okay. Initializing. Loading modules. Complete. Loading notes. Complete. Alright, so we are currently booting our terminal. Launching tutorial. Okay, I already played this tutorial as I recall the first session of this YouTube series, which never goes live due to copyright issues. I will I will play the tutorial again, just just as if I wouldn't have played it just last week or so. So uh, yeah, let's do this. As of right now, you are at risk. Learn as quickly as possible. Begin the tutorial sequence by pressing the continue button below. Let's do this. Connect to your computer by typing connect IP in the terminal or by clicking on a node in the network map. Connect to your own computer. All right, let's do this. Good work. The first thing to do is a scan. So let's let's uh, scan. I, I don't. How do I? Can't type. So scan this computer. Um, how how shall I do this when I don't have a? By pressing the scan network button. Scan net, scan network here. It should be all you need. From now, disconnect from your machine. All right. Disconnect it. Okay. It's time for you to connect to an outside computer. Okay, let's connect to this one. Ah, here's my terminal. All right, here, here I see my terminal. This is good. Uh, so now, now we can, we can even use the uh, the terminal to just type in some um, some commands, which which is super nice. Um, okay, so no ports to crack. I can now use Portek, and great is that they also have autocomplete, which is super cool. Okay, with Portek, I am currently uh, trying to crack the the ports, and we did it. Let's let's scan this thing. Yeah, let's scan it. All right, we found nothing, and now we can go through the file system, which which is super cool. New folder 85, nothing. No logs. Okay, binaries, config text. Let's let's look at this. 
Okay. Uh, colors enabled. Peach, ivory, fudge, chocolate, magenta. Helicopter. What? Not pawn documents. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, very interesting. So I need now to go back and I need to go to the uh, lock folder and just remove everything to, um, yeah, leave no traces behind. Okay, we did it. Let's uh, disconnect. Congratulations, you have completed the guided section of this tutorial. To finish it, you must locate the process ID of this tutorial program and kill it. Okay, uh, how do I do this? I can use just help to list all the commands. List currently running processes and their process IDs. All right, PS and now kill tutorials 105. Okay. Well done. So we did it. Let's let's read our email. First contact from Bit. Bit is, bit, bit is talking to us. Hi, I don't know you, and I'm sad to say that I never will. But if you're reading this, it means you might be the only person that can make things right. Right now I'm trapped. There's no way out. We're not enough time. I need your help. But there's something you need to take care of first. The faster the better. Hacknet OS wasn't meant to be released as it is now. After a while, an automated tracker will activate itself. We can't let this happen. Connect to your own node. Then find and delete a security tracer. When you're done, just reply to this email. Hurry. All right. So let's uh, let's go to my very own computer and um, view the file system. So what do I have? I have nothing in stash. I have nothing in uh, miscellaneous. I do have some uh, locks. Security tracing. So let's let's remove the security thing. All right, has been removed. Very nice. Let's let's go back to the email and um, reply to said email. All right, getting some tools together. Great. That should keep that should you that should keep you safe for now, at least from now from your own computer. Before we start, you're going to need a few things. Portek alone just isn't going to cut it on most modern computers you'll find. Not once with anything worth looking at anyway. You should start by checking up on a friend of mine. He goes by Wiper. Awful, I know. He is, honestly, not the brightest crane in the box, but he always seems to get a hold of useful code. You can for the most part ignore the generic files, stuff that gets locked or saved by a program, IRC logs and the like. Custom man things like exe files are what you want to look out for. Download any file you can use uh, you can use using the command SCP. Good luck. Reply again when you're done. Okay. Viper Battle Station. Oh dear. Viper Battle Station. Let's let's add it to this. Uh, Gmail.com and uh, Viper Battle Station. All right. Let's let's do let's do. Uh, do we no not scan? We need to check the system first with this, and then we can start the port hack. We want to prepare the scan feature scan function. All right, let's scan it. Hey, we found something. We found uh, entropy asset cache. Interesting. And now we want to go through the file system. Okay, homework. Jasper lock. You got those keys I asked for? You got the cache? Got it ready to be wired. I've uploaded the first half on the drop server. Once the transfer has been completed, you will get the final keys. Cool. Check it out now. Awesome, they work. Can I have my money now? Sent. Received. Who would you have thought who would have thought of thought Paul of Soldier would be so popular this year? What a thing this year. Gamers. Okay, um target Yeah, so as you can see there there's a lot of information in um in this uh, in this game. There's a lot of text you can read. I think that text uh, how did it go? It was a nightmare. Why? We spent the night at the lookout. It was super romantic. Then we started making out. Then started fooling around, you know? And then, uh, what? Spit it out. It uh, ended sooner than expected. Like, close the on sooner. Shut up. Dude. God dude. Never admit that to anyone again. You're lucky we are friends. Otherwise, I tell everyone that story. Anyway, gotta go. Got more coding to do. All good. See you, to, see you at school tomorrow. 
don't get there too early yeah all right um as you can see there there's a lot of information and um i think i will just write um read out induction test interesting i will just read out email draft um maybe maybe irc logs also which are super cool Oh, there we have our SSH crack thing. So let's let's just get the thing. Um, okay, okay, I think we got everything. Let's remove all of our uh, traces. I will just read out maybe IRC logs or so because they are often funny. But I can't read out everything. So if you if you're really interested and you like to know more or you like to read all the details, then um, yeah. Pause, pause the video because otherwise I think it, it will get a little bit too much when I read really everything. Okay, we got the the new program, Maiden Flight. Congratulations, I have no way of knowing if you succeeded in this responder. But if you are seeing this, it means you at least found something. I'm going to assume it's something really useful. You should try breaking one of my old test servers. If Viper had the sort of thing he is known for getting lying around, you should have everything you need to get it. Remember, any non-basic programs you need you get uh, need a port number to run, like this. File name, port number, alright? Just find a port you want to crack and run it on that. Oh, and in case you don't know already, you can hit tab to yes, I know. Uh, so I need to get this thing. Let's see what what. Okay, why is there no autocomplete for this one? Okay, um, now we can crack the um, SSH thing. We can prepare our port hack. Very nice. Now we can hack the port. We can scan the system. And we found nothing. So, um, what was my task? View file system. I, I think I should uh, remove block files, right? Maiden flight. Um, works everything. Okay, um, I think I, I was just required to get on this, this machine. So let's see, let's see if we can find something interesting here. IOC log, ah, here's something I like to, uh, to read out. Um, IOC is just a multiplayer notepad. Because yes, that's great. That, that's that's all the time cool. So archive via bash.org. I, I really like those, those bash.org, IOC logs. So. Those are what I will really uh, read out. If you want to see those things, then um, pause, the, pause the video for a brief moment, read them and um, and um, yeah, continue then watching the, the video because that's, that's what you want to do. Congratulations, you win. Okay, very nice. Um, some some random numbers terminal guide that's that's pretty nice but I hope I I know all those things so let's let's once again clean things up get ready to disconnect okay and now we can we can reply to the uh, main flight email. Something in return. Oh, that's that's nice. Nice work. Here's uh, where it's going to start getting harder. I need to I need to ask for a favor. I've been a little sloppy lately, which is what got me into this whole mess. It's why I'm writing this in the first place, I guess. Anyway, the point is, there are some logs on a few computers that I prefer weren't there. You should remember this. If you forget everything else I tell you, don't get sloppy. Delete your logs. If you have been if you haven't been, start now. Everything you do on any modern OS is tracked and locked in the lock folder. Just to go in there and remove the full thing. Never forgot to. Alright. So, uh, Anderson's bedroom PC. Okay, Anderson's bedroom PC. Well, if you say so, why, why is there no autocomplete available for the this thing? That's a little bit weird. 
Okay, let's crack the this port, prepare port hack. And very nice. Let's run port hack, let's prepare scan. And scan. Okay, let's let's click the file system. Documents. Letter raft. Okay. Letter raft. Left to pull this port. Okay. Chat lock. Some hot rice. Are you guys ready to stream? No, I'm not. Laptop. Conventional insurance won't cover. Okay. Some some. Uh, Tax return, interesting. Work, report email draft. Nothing conclusive, got leads, very nice. Okay, uh, no programs, nothing. Let's let's just remove this. Unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately the, the, the IP is, is hidden. It would have been interesting. Oh, valence dossier. That would be also interesting to see, especially after this IP deleted this valence dossier. But, oh well. Let's let's just remove everything and uh, then uh, disconnect. Okay, I think we, we did what we had to do. Let's reply to this email. Where to from here? All right, if you see this, then you have done well and well, all this might actually be worth something. Is that too much to hope for? It seems like a lot to hope for. I've realized that I just don't have time to write this whole thing. There's way too much to learn, and I don't have time to do any of it. So, I'm going to need to ask something more. There's a group that goes by Entropy that's currently accepting members. They'll be able to teach you more. When you're ready, I'll contact you again. As for getting into Entropy, you need to bypass a proxy server. A few shells open using the command shell, running on computers you've already got admin access on should be able to overload it. Good luck, and thank you. I almost forgot, if you run into trouble, I've linked the Network Education Archive server too. It's got a lot of useful info on it. Okay, um, so we have the, the archive thing and we have the test server. Let, let's check out the proxy server, shells, firewalls. Okay, I don't think that I can get some, some new software from here. Let's let's hack the system. Let's let's do this. Okay, so you need a proxy. Where is? Let's use this test PC. I need to start a shell. Very nice. Let's go to the entropy set test server and overload it. Then we can do the crack again. All right. One thing that will be really interesting is the fact that with the used RAM, every program we are running uh, uses up some RAM, and um, yeah, at some point it gets really critical to to manage the RAM, and th that's really cool. This is really what I like about this game. It's it's super cool um, because it has so many details, and it's just a terminal simulator, which which is super cool. Okay, let's see. Uh, induction test. Congratulations. Download this file to complete your induction test. Entropy will be contact you shortly. Very nice. Let's do this. Uh, let's download the entropy induction test. Session saved. Cool. Um, okay, we got some zero cool. Hack the planet. You fools. Bow down to me. I got mad skills. Alright. Okay. OP Stormwind, need help. Okay, idiots have totally ruined the balance. Okay, latest auction horse patch. Very interesting. Stormwind Online. Some random stuff. E admins are lazy. No one ever remembers to clear out the bin folder tool. This is a test server, Scrubs. It's designed for people to break in. At least tidy up. Okay. Uh, gold, very interesting. Bit, please read. Bit, if you're lurking, can you please come out of the shadows? I need to talk to you. Raper won't get got off my case saying something's wrong. She's sure something going wrong. Oh, sure. She's sure something's going on. Let me know. T. Okay, whoever T is. So okay, there are a lot of 
but just in case, let's let's remove all those all those logs. And I think I well, I, I will keep this this shell running. Maybe I need it for the next attack or so. Okay, we are done with our test server. Uh, confirmation mission. Greetings, Zebby. Uh, let me be the first congr to congratulate you to congratulate you on locating and passing the Entropy Group ex entrance exam. While to an experienced hacker it's a relatively trivial task, surprisingly few actually seem to manage it. Before we will able to allow you to officially join the group, we must further confirm your abilities. A tabloid news server has recently taken a negative stance towards Entropy, and we'd like to temporarily disable their operation. As a second test of your skill, we ask you to bring down the server's message board. If you can, leave the non-entropy related articles and the rest of the server intact. We do not wish to be needlessly destructive. This is not a request to simply wipe the server clean of articles. We want just that program board down. Alright. Slash, slash bot news network. Alrighty then. So, let's see. Oh, they, they have a lot of news. I guess I guess we can read the news because they are part of the story, I guess. Uh, Entropy Group engaged in malicious hacking. Recent reports suggest that the internet group Entropy has recently taken it to sheltering and providing work for a notorious hacker. While this information cannot be confirmed yet, if it is, the group will be sure to face severe legal action in the near future. In the eyes of this reporter, this re represents a clear act of betrayal towards the network that allows productive groups to thrive and should be punished severely. Reporter Tom Wilkins. New Microsoft phone. About as bad as you expected. Oh, cool. Uh, it seems Microsoft just can't catch a break. Its new waterfall phone, which, of our, which our staff were fortunate enough to acquire from an anonymous benefactor, has been found to have some pretty serious security flaws. Users of the phone can expect the same buggy last gen OS they have grown accustomed to from the ubiqui ubiquitous tech giant, but now escape, escaping security holds to boot. Any installed apps are able to easily gain unrestricted control of the phone, and a networking bug could lead to private data being sent unencrypted all over the net. Waterfall, Microsoft's fourth generation phone, is expected to launch two weeks from now on, but with this discovery, experts say the launch may be delayed by up to a month. Watch this space for any future developments. <laughs> Microsoft. Suspicious arise. Over Entropy, Internet Group Entropy has been uh, renowned for some time as a reliable source of information on recent developments in the Internet world. However, recent actions by the group, such as sh the shutdown of their public access terminal after the means of which they had been uh, procuring this information was called into question, has aroused the suspicious of reporters and companies alike. Although the group has long been accredited to the openness of information, if it has been doing so by illegitimate means, actions must be taken. More news as the situation unfolds. Is your data at risk? Popular social network friend Hull was the latest victim of a malicious hacking group apparently bent on compromising all forms of social media. The group's identifiers and location still remains a mystery to a cyber police. But their message is clear. Nothing is safe. FaceSpace's CEO attempted to date to reassure a nervous user base, explaining that a FaceSpace's security is watertight and that the only people who will have access to a user's personal data on FaceSpace are them, those they choose to share it with, and a FaceSpace's 12,000 trusted advertising partners. Of course, of course, the advertising partners have access to uh, personal data. That's that's great. New Opal dongle patent will tantalize fanboys. Hardcore Opal fans, get your affairs in order and prepare your wallets. A new patent filed by technological golden child Opal Computing today suggests that the company could be moving into the home, home console market. The patent for an extensible dongle could be a component in a new gaming system, experts say. Perhaps a controller or motion sensor. As of yet, only the design, a telescoping cylinder with rounded ends, has been uh, granted patent status. But our sources say on news on the device's functionality may only be a few days away. Watch the space.
All right, I guess we, we read everything. So let's see, let's see what we can do to somehow um, do something about it. Let's um, overload it and prepare our crack. Okay, maybe when I have two shells running, maybe it's a little bit faster. And let's prepare the, the port hack. Very nice. What? Let's do port hack, all right. And let's prepare the scan. Okay, scan complete. Uh, let's, let's look into the files. Boom, nothing. Locks, okay. Binaries, nothing. System. Um, default boot module. Slash bot news, okay. Message board. Listings. Entropy group engaged in malicious hacking. Okay, let's uh, remove entropy group this one and remove suspicious arise over entropy. Closed. Nothing. Config this. Nothing. Co config caution text. Warning. Config this. And this folder is a critical system file. Do not delete or rename it. Doing so will crash the board and bring the host program down. Changes to the config should be made only during scheduled outages to avoid this issue. All right. I guess we now know what we have to do. We have to config. Remove this one. Oh no. Uh, I meant, well, we, we removed the wrong file, but okay, we, we wanted to remove the config sys. Okay. Let's let's go back and let's go to the uh, log folder and remove all of our traces. And disconnect from the machine. So when we now go to the news, critical error, error, all right. So I guess I guess we did contact the administrator. Okay, I think we did what we had to do. Confirmation mission. Reply. Sent. Welcome. Greetings, Zabby. Congratulations. Your timely execution of your first contract has proven your abilities, and I can now gladly welcome you to Entropy. As a small welcoming gift, you'll find the user details of the admin account to our S server attached. Help yourself to any programs you might need and view our mantra. Once you're geared up, reply to this address and I will arrange a true test of your abilities. Again, congratulations. Text. Um, as it's a user admin, password rosebud. All right. Let's see. Let's see what they, they have to offer. Login. Admin rosebud. Successful. Nice. Okay, um, let's, for fun, scan the system, found nothing. Okay, view file system, home, new folder, IRC log, oh cool. Hey, if you type in your password, it will show as stars. See, Hunter, Hunter 2, doesn't look like stars to me. That's what I see, oh really? Absolutely. You can go Hunter 2, my Hunter 2 Hunter 2. What? Does that look funny to you? See, when you type 102, it shows to us as stars. That's neat. I didn't know IRC did that. Yep, no matter how many times you type 102, it will show to us stars. Awesome. Wait, how do you know my password? Uh, I just co copy pasted your stars and it appears to you as 102 because it's your password. Oh, okay. Uh, this is a little bit weird. I'm not quite sure. Maybe I'm... But what's going on here? Girls are like internet domain names. The ones I like are already taken. Well, you still you can still get one from a strange country. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. I have seen users. What should I give sister for unzipping? Um, 10 bucks? No, I mean like winzip? <laughs> Oh dear. Ah, we have more logs. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I served a week and weary over many a strange and suspicious sight of hot 
XXX galore. While I clicked my favorite bookmark, suddenly there came a warning, and my heart was filled with a mourning. Mourning from my dear Amour. Tis not possible, I muttered. Give me back my free hot core. Quit the server 404. Christ, scary. All right, that's that's funny. I, I haven't pronounced it as good as I could, but um, I got kicked out of Barnes and Noble once for moving all the Bibles into the fiction section. <laughs> oh dear. Backups. FTT FTP balance access. This can, should be interesting. Let's let's get this one. Let's get this FTP thing. Mantra. Entropy Mantra. Our group is founded on three pillars which we strive to follow in all things. Strive for justice and righteousness in all things. Create and share more than you destroy. Never have an excuse not to improve. Entropy will deny contracts that go against these pillars and remove agents that violate them. Very good. Uh, do we have... we have those already and in the system they have nothing. Okay, do we need this? Um, let's, let's just remove once again our traces. And disconnect from this machine. And um, so, I think we can reply to this email. Next time we will do our first contract, I guess. So, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, first episode after I recorded it for a second time. And yeah, I hope you will be joining me for the next episode. Hope you enjoy this kind of gameplay. And um, yeah, thank you so much, so much for watching. Until then, my name is Sebi. See you. Thank you.